As for today, we'll be doing the unboxing slightly different. We got ourselves a hammer and a screwdriver. So you guys ready? Yeah. Boom! What I have in front of me right now is what they would call a military-grade smartwatch. It's a giant killer that punches way up to its price point. If this was a boxing match, this smartwatch is actually a featherweight fighter that punches like a heavyweight fighter. Let me present to you the Amazfit T-Rex 2 GPS smartwatch. And today we'll be reviewing this and let's see if it actually lives up to its height. Don't be review. We check for you. What is new compared to, you know, the previous predecessor, which is the T-Rex and the T-Rex Pro? Starting off with the obvious one, the price, right? We're talking about the T-Rex was retailed at 499 ringgit. For the T-Rex Pro, it was 659 ringgit. And the T-Rex 2 will be retailed at 799 ringgit. Now you must be wondering, well, with these extra prices that I'm paying, are there any new features? Well, the answer to that is absolutely yes. Starting off with a bigger 1.39 inch AMOLED display, you know, compared to its previous predecessor, it's a bit bigger. And we're talking about a huge jump in battery life as well, which is 500 milliamp power battery. And on top of that, you'll also be getting a better GPS chip. Okay, now that I've mentioned all of this, right, it's also good to note that it actually comes with a new biometric sensor as well, which allows you to do all those typical health concern stuff, things like blood oxygen level management, you know, and also stress level tracking and all that. Now, as the name suggests, T-Rex, we all know it as this tough, rugged monster that has roamed through the toughest terrain of Earth. That is where the name actually came from. The T-Rex adheres the military standard 810 standard, which means it can actually withstand the 85 degrees Celsius heat or minus 30 degree cold, high humidity, and shock. As a matter of fact, what they did to prove this smartwatch out of this world's toughness, they actually collaborated with this company called Sand to Space. So what they did was they, you know, they attach it to a rig and fill this balloon up with helium gas and it goes all the way up to 113,000 feet in the air. Now, when it finally reached up the peak, the helium balloon popped and the smartwatch fell. On its way down, it was actually traveling at a speed of 180 miles per hour while surviving a temperature below 64 degrees Celsius with an air pressure below 0.2%. Now that is crazy when you come to think about it, right? As soon as it landed, the best part is they can actually pinpoint the exact location where the smartwatch landed. Now with that being said, the T-Rex 2 actually survived all this harsh environment, right? It actually makes me think. It's actually tougher than the original dinosaur T-Rex because they couldn't survive space. Okay, now let's talk about design. The one I have with me right now is what they call it Astro Black and Gold. They also have multiple choices that you can choose from, which is the Amber Black, Wild Green, and Desert Khaki. Now, in terms of aesthetic, this is definitely leaning more towards the rugged side of a smartwatch rather than the minimalistic, simple looking ones, right? So right here, it is supported by these four screws, which further pushes the rugged look to it. And what is also new, they added on this new metal tab that bears a maze fit right there. Now, a lot of people might be wondering, well, what's the whole point other than the aesthetic aspect of it, right? So having accidentally testing it, what happened was from time to time, you know, some part of your watch might bump into a table or anything, right? And this was meant to protect all these physical buttons that comes with it, which is what I really like about this smartwatch. It doesn't fully depend on the touchscreen capability. Knowing that there are four different physical buttons right here is assuring enough that you can still do your navigation through the smartwatch even being under the water. 
Now in terms of display, the T-Rex 2 has a feature that not even the top tier smartwatches have, which is the AMOLED display with a peak brightness of 1000 nits. Now what this means is it still looks bright and contrasty under direct sunlight, which makes it perfect for outdoor activities. Abang Jal, if you're watching, Kotoa, I think this watch is for you, my man. <laughs> Now, despite having an AMOLED display which is known for battery consumption, the battery life is where the T-Rex 2 actually shine the most. Now, according to Amazfit, it can actually charge from 0 to 100% in a matter of 2 hours. And on top of that, if you're operating it on a smartwatch mode, it can actually last up to 24 days. This is where it gets crazy. There's a mode that they call the battery saver mode. Now, this will allow the smartwatch to last up to a whopping 45 days. I mean, that's good. <laughs> that's amazing, right? However, if you were to use it heavily, it can last up to 10 days. Now, in terms of GPS usage, there are multiple modes that you can go with. So if you want a surface level of tracking, you can activate what they call a power saving GPS battery mode, which will give you 58 hours of battery life. If you want a more accurate and precise location tracking, you can actually activate what they call a full dual band multi GNSS mode, which will give you a 26 hours battery life. The T-Rex 2 has a multi band GPS system that is unheard of at this price point. In fact, there's only a handful of top tier sport watches in the market that are equipped with a multi band GPS system that supports five major satellite navigating systems. But with all these fancy words aside, the bigger question is how is it any different? Let's say this is you with a single band smartwatch. You will only be receiving a single band or frequency from the satellite, which makes it prone to interference depending on the environment. However, if you are using the T-Rex 2 that has a multi-band GPS system, the satellite will be sending you two different frequencies to locate you more accurately. Hence, it's called the multi-band GPS system. On top of that, you have the five satellites positioning system. There are a total of five major satellites around the world, which are the GPS from the United States, QZSS from Japan, Beirut from China, Galileo from Europe, and GLONASS from Russia. By having five satellites positioning, it means that we have access to all five major satellites at any point of the time for redundancy. If one system fails, another satellite will take over immediately. So, in other words, you can rest assured that the T-Rex 2 can pinpoint your location quickly and accurately at any point of the time. Senang cerita, it's good lah. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that the T-Rex 2 is actually living up to its hype? Sure, you can say that it doesn't eat all these top tier sport watches for lunch, but it's definitely a good buy considering its price point. With all that being said, who is the Amazfit T-Rex 2 for? Personally, I felt like it was made for a lot of outdoor enthusiasts out there considering the fact that it offers so much functionality at the price of 799 ringgit However, even if you're not an outdoor enthusiast, you will find the T-Rex 2 to be the perfect fitness companion as it will give you the right push at the right time to stay on top of your game. And by saying fitness companion, I'm talking about the Pi feature that constantly reminds me to stay active. For those who are unfamiliar with the Pi feature, it's actually a short form for personal activity intelligence. The algorithm will adjust itself according to your personal level of fitness and heart rate when you're doing physical activity. The more you elevate your heart, the more Pi you'll earn. Now with the scoring system as my reference, it would constantly remind me to maintain a score above 100 to reduce 25% of the risk of heart disease mortality. So that's my review on the Amazfit T-Rex 2. Don't forget to leave your comment on what is your favorite part about this T-Rex 2 GPS smartwatch. And also if you find this video useful, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our future video as well. I've been your host Bryla, take care, and I'll see you guys soon.